Hey friend, it's Summer with HammondsNest.com and I have a really beautiful idea for a DIY for you today. If you like easy, simple, if you like unique, um, this one's going to hit both those marks. I really like the way it came out. Um, this, all, all the supplies that you see here, the wood pieces all came from Hobby Lobby. Those cute little picket baskets I found in the spring section, 40% off, of course. And this was in the wood pile, the candlestick, the wood pile section of unfinished crafts. And then the little five inch wooden plaque came in a pack that I just had in my studio craft stash. The first thing I'm going to do is make a custom water-based stain using my coffee bean chalk paint. That's the brand Dixie Bell. So it's just a rich kind of espresso color. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos, I have featured this color before. It's one of my favorite stain colors. So I'm going to brush this on and do all the staining on the unfinished wood pieces. And I've just got a lint-free old t-shirt cut up there that I'm using to kind of wipe back revealing that really pretty wood grain. See how pretty that is? So I'm going to keep going. I'm actually going to do the bottom of this plaque too, just to give it a real finished look. You'll see once I assemble all the elements of this project, you'll see why, but you could skip that part if you wanted to. So I'm going to move on to the candlestick. Now this candlestick is really pretty. It was, uh, the full price was $9.99 in my Hobby Lobby. And so I paid just like, you know, right over $5 for it, which I thought was a really good deal. But maybe I'm always on the lookout for these and the thrift stores too, because they're great for repurposing. But this one was really beautiful because it was unfinished. And so I could get that pretty rich stain look on it without having to strip down an existing finish or anything like that. So that's why I chose to get something brand new. But I do love working with thrifty finds when I can. Now, I'm not staining the top or the bottom of this one because it's going to be attached to these pretty baskets. So, like I said, these, these little wood fence, uh, picket fence baskets were just too cute. They were calling my name. I do believe there's actually three different sizes available, maybe even more that I didn't see. But I got the larger one and the next size up from that. And I'm going to use some E6000 as my main glue and then just a few dots of hot glue to work kind of like as a clamp, just a quick set so that that E6000 can have its time um, setting. So I've got my little wood piece down at the bottom of the basket. So what you're seeing here is going to be uh, the bottom piece. And then I'm putting the candlestick in the middle. And you probably can guess it by now, but on top of that piece, I'm going to attach the smaller basket. Now I tried out some different you know, pieces for the bottom underneath the big basket. I tried out some little wooden feet that I had and things like that. And I just re really didn't like the look of it. So I just went with the simplicity just to kind of rise it up a little bit. You'll see in the after shot here, it's just a little bit risen up off, you know, whatever surface you put it on. So the trickiest part of this whole thing is making sure that everything is um, lined up and centered while I'm building this little, I guess it's kind of like a tiered tray, but it's tiered baskets. I just really love the unique look of it with a picket fence. So pretty. I staged it for you too, so you can see how cute. I went with a real simple look here. But of course, you could do it with anything, and you could theme this just like they do the tiered trays. But I just used some really pretty greenery garland I also got from Hobby Lobby. A couple of birds uh, in the bottom and the top, and I just thought it was a real simple look with the white birds. So I hope that you enjoyed this very, very, like I said, simple idea. If you make one, I'd love to know about it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.